Good afternoon, Lace Jumper. I'm John. This is Betty Atruder. Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Well, last time we met this magnificent bastard, a kill droid who just seems to, you know, not just be very good at killing, but really enjoy it while he's doing it. And that's lovely. It's lovely to find someone who gets so much joy out of their work. So today, oh, we're going to be getting to know this magnificent bastard a bit more. Even if he does, you know, confuse me a little bit, because yes, I can't help but um, notice he he can't actually use any weapon other than, you know, blasters. He physically can't use a melee weapon. In which case, why does he have strength 16? Because as far as I'm aware, like, strength doesn't do anything apart from helping out with melee combat. So, okay, this whole thing's a bit of a mystery to me. So come along, buddy. Reveal your secrets, why don't ya? Okay, so I can learn more about his functionality. Or you don't need to call me master, or... A fighter simulation. What's that precisely? Statement. Certainly, master. Allow me to input the proper sequences into the ship's computer. I caution you that this simulation will appear quite real. Are you ready to begin the training sequence, master? Oh, is this one of those, like, gunship things where I'm in the turret or whatever? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, okay, yeah, it's one of those. It's one of... Okay, bloody hell, it's just training for, for this mode. This happens a lot when I'm just, like, you know, moving between planets anyway, to be perfectly honest. I've mostly been um, cutting it out because it's, it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. So, okay, fine. That's what that is, I see. Okay, never mind that. So, yes, you know what? You don't need to call me master... Friend would be fine. Me and you, we can be friends. Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meatbags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Okay. So, I mean, to be honest, yes, I do. I do feel like everyone should be referring to me as master. That uh, that would make my day. But uh, let's dig more into the uh, organic meatbag comment right there. Retraction. Did I say that out loud? I apologize, master. While you are a meatbag, I suppose I should not call you such. Okay, so I feel like you've got a bit of a sarcastic sense of humour, don't you? Yeah, me and you could definitely be friends. Explanation. It's just that you have all these squishy parts, Master. And all that water. How the constant sloshing doesn't drive you mad, I have no idea. Okay, you're the one who's constantly whirring and beeping, alright? Okay, into the big stuff here. Yes, your functionality. Can we, like, you know, make you better? Because there was talk about, like, um, maintaining you when I bought you. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Okay, so, yes, we took the bolt off, so you should now know about your own functionality, right? Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Okay, so not really a lie, but a bit of an overly confident supposition you put to me. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? Okay, you are going to shoot me in the back at some point. It's going to be great. So, okay, what do you know? Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Okay, so yes, he's very open about the assassin -y stuff, though that did seem kind of obvious under the circumstances, given how much he enjoys murder. Caution, shh, Master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Okay, interesting. Again, I feel like this just feels like he's slightly taking the mick here. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Okay. Any chance we can turn that back on? Because that sounds fun. Answer. Not that I know of, master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. 
Oh, okay. Stealth. That sounds potentially uh, of interest. But, come on. We need to be able to repair you in some way or another. Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Okay, so bare minimum, we could, yeah, get you your memory back. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Okay, so it's going to be like a companion in New Vegas if we just sort of uh, run into the right place or person or he hears the right thing, it might, you know, lead to a response, being remembered or something. So, okay, repair. I'm not very good at repair, I'm going to be honest. Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Okay. Um, tell me what you can. I'd like to give a go to it. I mean, hang on. If I need repair, then I might have some gear that helps out with that. Though for the time being, yeah, just tell me what you can tell me already. Oh, never mind. That's what we already know. Okay, so I think we've heard what we can hear for now. Okay, what can I do here that might, you know, help me out with repair? And unfortunately, that's actually, uh, that's one of the only skills I don't have the ability to boost. That's kind of annoying. And irritatingly, ah, okay, I was kind of relying on other people to do my repairing for me. Like, say, you know, the Wookiee. The Wookiee does lots of my repairing, he's very good at it, but if I can only do this repair by speaking to the robot, then I can never actually play as the Wookiee on the ship. So as a result of... oh. Okay, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. I need to just keep an eye out for, yes, equipment that I might be able to use to boost my repair skill. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna very quickly nip back to every shop I've passed so far, because I can do that nice and fast, and revisiting planets might, just might, you know, activate various uh, memories in HK47. So, okay, let's see if anyone's got any, you know, good repair gear or something. Here we go, one utility belt for 3,000, so a little bit expensive, and on top of that... I mean, strength plus two, saves plus two. That's that's really good, but a bit expensive. I don't want to burn all my money in uh, one go, especially as it is strength plus two, which right now we're not really using for much, but that I'll be taking. Ah, yes, and that guy who was, uh, yeah, telling me about the Terran attack. So, turns out they're pretty easy to kill. In fact, I've pretty much wiped them out. And the galaxy is a better place for it. Everyone of these creatures is an abomination that must be exterminated. Okay, now that doesn't sound like a very Jedi sort of thing to say. Okay, nothing else on Dantooine. Nothing on Korriban either. Kashyyyk, I believe all the shops are now dead because of what I did. So, okay, back to Tatooine in that case. Yeah, I've just gone from shop to shop and I cannot find any actual um, headgear that improves uh, repair. Now, in theory, there might be, like, you know, gloves uh, that let you do it too. I'm not sure, but... Okay, that one just seems to be really difficult to boost. So, slap on my utility belt. Absolutely lovely. So, HK47, me and you need to have a nice chat. Let's see what we can do here. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Okay, I've got bad news for you, HK, which is uh, I bought you for 2,500 credits, meaning you are actually less valuable than the belt I'm about to use to horribly mess up your repairs. Statement. As you wish, Master. 
The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. Now close the last panel. Hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meat bag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, meat but I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. Okay. It sounds like I'm going to be needing to, yes, invest a little bit in repair. And also maybe find some repair headgear before we're going to be able to make this happen. Well, upgraded or not, buddy, you're still coming with me. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, sorry. I think I might have, um, missed a named character. In fact, you're important. One of the Jawas told me to speak to Aziz and, um, it turns out he's, he's right here by the gate. Sorry, my friend. I kind of walked straight past you previously. Still, I found you now, so that's fine. So, okay. Can you help Aziz of the Jawa? Um... Okay, trouble from the ghosts among the sands. Right, I'm not a hundred percent sure what you're going on about there. Statement. It is doubtful he can be clearer. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. The trouble is yours not of Jawa. We must use language of trade because you listen complicated to what we say simply. Okay, so... Your actual language would be not translatable or something. And this is not a problem for Jawa to have for you. You have the ears that do not listen. Okay, what do you actually want? Like something about ghosts. Do you want me to shoot ghosts? Because if the problem is ghosts need shooting, I am your woman. All right? And uh, I'm the leader of a tribe. You are the same in kind. Uh, a leader in a tribe. Yep, yeah, okay, I am the leader. Absolutely. Giants made of sand, they are horned ghosts that take us away. Okay, um, HK, I kind of bought you as a translator. Any chance you understand what the flip's going on here? Translation. 98% probability that members of the miniature organics tribe are being held by sand people master. Doubtless, he wishes assistance. Okay, that could be, that could be more of a problem, because I do want to screw over the Circa, alright, but if the Sand People are actually being dicks and taking Jawas captive, they might need to die too. Basically, everyone might need to die. Got it. And, uh, yeah, what's the other 2%? Translation. 2% probability that the miniature organic is simply looking for trouble and needs to be blasted. That may be wishful thinking on my part, Master. Okay, that's a very small percentage from you, HK. You must really like this little guy. So, okay. What do you need doing, my friends? And there has been no help given by asking the great group that digs with machines. So now I've come to you. I ask you finders, bring them away from the people of sand. Then they offer a trade. Okay, what have you got for me? Long have we salvaged... Among you and those that came before, we have things... Uh, ooh. Okay. What are we talking about, precisely? And also, uh, those that came before. Because, yes, we know this planet's got, like, a history. It's been repeatedly resettled, but once upon a time it was, like, you know, lush and nice before it became all sandy. And you stand on Anchorhead, a place named and named again. You come to dig, but it was already dark. Okay, this guy seems to know something. Settled over and over, or so long ago. Ships fell after battles above. Now we scavenge and find the pieces. You dig the ore and dirt. In time from now, we will dig you, just like digging those that came before. Okay, but I need to know, like, what you're offering in trade precisely, because... Is it the location of the star map? Because if it is, we can do business. Okay, all he's willing to say is a trade. So he wants his people rescued. Uh, there's some form of trade to be done, but he's being very vague on, you know, uh, the details. All he said was, yes, the big camp to the south. Now, we could just go and, like, you know, uh, murder everybody. Or we could, you know, potentially not. So, okay, we've done some of this already, and... Uh, Bear in mind, really what I want to be doing is 
Yes, HK, you up front. Because you, my friend, your job is to use your brand new infinite stun ray to just stun everybody constantly. Meanwhile, me and Mission will just blast them for ludicrous burst sneak attack damage. It's gonna be great. And we've also got, yeah, various bits of trash, though. Oh? Do we have... Yeah, okay. Watch out for anything of note, because all of it can just turn out to be a bit of a, uh, a trap. It's all an ambush, so don't Ready. worry about any of this. You guys are... I don't know what you just did, but it was very fancy. So, you stun, then you stun, then you stun, then go back to the first person, then just stun him again. Basically, your only job is to, uh, stun. That's it. Uh, while you're just doing that, I'll get on with, uh, doing a bit of speed, and mission, you kind of may as well just start, uh, doing a rapid shot. To be honest, just uh, get on with all of that. That's yeah. absolutely lovely. And there we go. Stun. And person number one is stunned already. Get over here. And now just we shoot you. And now we just basically just try and... Yep, now you've been stunned too. So then we just get over there as well. And you've been stunned. And okay, this kind of seems to be working actually. Aside from the fact HK just, uh, just went down. But that's all absolutely fine. I'm sure we have got you. In fact, you know what? Uh, Mr. Holy Warrior, you get to not have a throat anymore. So as soon as you're done just going boop, boop, boop. There we go. Now we just shoot you. And now, oh, look at that amount of damage. That's a good, healthy amount of damage. Now we'll just be having some stuff off uh, of you. The robot is, uh, yeah, fine, but oh. The robot does not make a good frontliner, John. You know why? Because repair kits. Yes, okay, and also, oh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Because, yes, okay, we might need to rethink this. I think the robot alone is a frontliner, despite the defense and despite the amount of hit points, that's not going to fly. Still, for the time being, we can just straight up coward back to, uh, yeah, the ship and just recharge there, so that's fine. So, okay, these marker posts, I'm guessing I'm not allowed to, uh, walk past them, and, uh, yes, okay, with no markers, if I just walked, uh, yeah, off in my own direction, everything would go very badly wrong. So, okay, over here we got ourselves, uh, hunting of some description. Are you one of those, um, creatures that produces, like, skull plates? Because those were worth a good damn money. But first, yet more sand people. Okay, to be honest, um... Though I do want to screw over Circa, I'm running out of patience for the Sand People as well. Like, in many ways, I kind of just want everybody to die. They're all kind of being dicks to me. Also, Mission, why are you... Mission, why are you over... Oh, bloody hell. For some reason, Mission's over here. Yeah. So that there, that's just great. Um, so may as well just, uh, open fire on all these bastards right over there. Okay, you right now are stunned or whatever. Turn your attention over to... Okay, that's the one you're not supposed to be shooting right. Well, this is all gone to hell. Okay, so you're running out of health nice and fast. Uh, maybe just, like, choke one of these people if you'd be so kind. Okay, this is... Mission! Would you mind maybe coming over here in a second? That'd be... Run, bloody, run. Now I'm stunned. Okay, so basically, well done mission under the circumstances. You really bloody helped out there. Also, just to confirm, uh, my plan B was leading them, uh, leading them over here. So that, uh, that didn't work at all, actually. Because the miners just sort of, they just don't care. Any chance you guys would mind getting... No, this was the point in gaming where everyone in the world was just united against you. So, you couldn't just actually, you know, lead one sort of enemy into another. Okay, let's let's try this again. HK needs to go away for the time being, because yes, he's just... Well, we need a frontliner. And we know Bastila and Mission both have, you know, stuff to do. So, let's bring both of them along. We'll bring HK along when we're ready to, uh go into the encampment if we choose to do that peacefully. Though, to be honest, these guys are starting to run down my patience a bit. Yeah, you see, right here, with a Jedi on side to, you know, help out with boosting with Night Valor, that's yeah. definitely for the better. Mission and the droid on their own, no, that's not gonna fly. 
Especially as- oh yeah, look at that. I'd forgotten. Mission has basically no health. Now, how tough are these things normally? So- oh, these guys are- okay, they're flimsy as anything. Got it. Don't need to worry about these lands, so we'll just be helping ourselves to some skull plates, and then we can just basically start our, yep, doing a little bit of uh, getting all of this up, and now just open fire. So now, five attacks per round. Oh yeah, you know what that'll do. And my gun has a good chance of, no, just forget about the existing stuff. There we go. Now we can start shooting. They, well, that one in the back just sort of died. Yes, okay, we're in good shape. The second one apparently just sort of, um, it didn't have a skull, which is mildly concerning. Oh, there's a corpse here. Oh, this is going to be a trap then. Or not on this occasion. That's nice too. Well, this is definitely a trap. Pile of rubbish is always a trap. So, get over here. Choke you. Then just activate speed. And then just... Oh, wow. Okay, so you're dying very fast. Got it. Well, this is all lovely right over here. And yes, I'm pretty sure I see there... That's going to be the entryway to their camp. So we do not want to go there just yet. We need to find some disguises. And uh, speak of the devil, here's some more sand people. So we'll just take care of them. I'm going to open like, you know, we could say, I don't know, turn some of their outfits into outfits. But apparently, no, that's not how it goes. Okay, still nothing. But on this occasion... We got ourselves plasma mines. Okay. Yes, uh, mission. For once, this is something you can actually help out with. So, uh, just... Are you disabling or recovering right now? I'm going to be honest, I don't know what you just did. But it seems to be not there anymore. So, uh, okay. Hang on. More more piles of junk. Why is this mine? Don't let me die under here, please! Wait, what? O okay. Hi. And then med pack. Does does anyone know who who said that? Why is this mined up? Okay, I'm a little bit suspicious. For some reason, yes, this entire area is uh, surrounded by. Oh, John! They drove their speeders into the mines. The sand people left mines, and then these people drove their speeders in. And you've got to. Okay, it's time to be a big damn hero, which. Contrary to popular opinion, sometimes I am. Anyone? I'm trapped under here. Please help me. Yes, I know, but if you could be a bit more bloody specific as to where you are, that'd be great. So, uh, parts, repair. Please help. Ah, here we go. Can't get out. Oh, that's, that's worrying. Three, um, the subtitles are concerning two, me a bit. One. Okay, so, oh. Um, Gamorians. I'm pretty sure I saw you guys in the, um, in the Hunter's Guild, right? So why do you get the feeling someone has, uh, oh yeah, someone's decided to, uh, oh never mind, no one's put a bounty out on me. These guys are just dicks who enjoy murdering people. Um, 500 credits. I'm gonna be honest, these guys seem dumb, like really dumb. So how about we just, you know, Jedi mind trick you and you walk the flip away? So, why would we stop? You look pretty weak right now. We got you good. And, uh, actually, you're just gonna flipping walk off. That's what you're gonna do. And, uh, we let you go. We got what we wanted. Uh, yep, we sure did. And good, they didn't give us anything. Shut up, we got what we wanted. Uh, now, we go. Marvellous, off you go, annoying pig people. Alright, everybody over in this direction, because there seems to be... There's something over here. Does this indicate a different... Aha! This would be a path we can follow. So, the Eastern June Sea. Except, there are signs people have passed this way. Occasional stone seems to be marking a path. The logic of how they're placed. Okay. So, we can't go anywhere just yet. Until we've, like, got, I don't know, maps, a local guide... Would HK be able to do this? I don't know, but I've still not seen a bloody, you know, disguise anywhere. And this area seems to be pretty on the, um, the small side, actually. Okay, I've been around this entire flipping desert. I've mapped the whole thing. There's only two ways to leave this area. There's this area that doesn't go anywhere. 
and there's the area that's marked as uh, Sand People Territory. Now, the game has been pretty clear, hey, you need to get some disguises, but I have been hit by so many ambushes and uh, not one disguise uh, has come out of it. So what I've done is I've gone and got HK-47, just in case he can translate a solution, given that was sort of the implication as to what he could do, as well as, you know, just doing murder. But on top of that, while we were, you know, going along, we did happen to find ourselves with... Uh, a bit of a level up, and this is a good level up right here, love it. Now, Bastila, you're kind of doing a bit of frontlining for us at the moment, so you can just have, yes, a bit of toughness. That's never going to be a bad thing at all. Any chance you can have a... Oh, now, here we go. So, Master Valor is... Oh, that's a bonus plus two to everybody, constantly, all the time. Yeah, 100%, love it. Also, HK 100% is not benefiting from me giving him a two weapon fighting, is he? Because that's two bladed weapons or two weapons, one in each hand. So, okay, his blaster is not benefiting from that um, at all, so that's a bit unfortunate. Well, screw it, I'm never one to ignore a sunken cost fallacy. Let's max that out and get him over to, yes, yeah, some form of a nice dual pistol thingy. So we do have this, yes, Sith assassin pistol. That there, that can stun. So I just need to find something good for his other hand. And to be honest, there's not anything that great for his other hand. I could give him Bendax Blaster in the long run. But for the time being, let's give him that. So he's not going to be doing that much damage. But he is going to potentially be... And again, hang on. Should it be the, um, the other way round? So if it's the other way round, then he's doing less damage but more stun. Then again, it doesn't matter, because he's not really supposed to be doing any of this. All he's supposed to be doing is stunning, and uh, I'm going to be honest, that looks more badass anyway, so that's fine. Hello there, friends. I'm here to negotiate a solution. A lovely, lovely... Okay, never mind, we're just murdering them. Got it. Well, you know what, buddy? You have picked the wrong time to cause trouble with me. And when I say cause trouble with me, I admit you just kind of ran up to you. And just sort of straight up uh, murdered you. So in many ways, yeah, this one's this one's more on me. Uh, so what we're going to do is... I want to say this. I mean... Oh. Okay. Sorry. Now's not a good time to... Oh, you're just going over to murder them. That's fine then. You just go and do that. Okay. So my Jedi are now buffed into flipping next week. Due to, yes, speed and master valor. Oh, now that. That'll flipping do the job 27 dexterity on me. Oh yeah. Oh flippin' yeah. Right, HK, your job is just to get involved right now. Ah, I'm guessing that maybe we get the clothing off uh, off these guys. So you just get over there and start just stunning these lads over and over. Your only job is to stun everybody. Just get around and stun everybody. Meanwhile, we'll just, you know, run in after you and take care yes. of some business. It's gonna be great. So you are hopefully gonna be stunned momentarily. And then you, you just start doing the flurry like crazy. I'll just get around the back and start blasting momentarily. So I see... Ooh, you resisted that, actually. Well, okay, that's all absolutely fine. May as well just uh, open fire and... Okay, these guys ain't so tough. So no, 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 none of that. You, just get yourself... Okay, they're all already very dead. For some reason, these guys are going down like nobody's business. Possibly because they're all... Oh, there's more coming in yet, though. More coming in yet. They're tossing grenades. Battler, get out of the... Ooh, freezy grenade. Lardy flipping da. Might want to not be standing in the freezy grenade for too much longer. Okay, I feel like we've, um... We've got this, actually. You guys are... No, no grenades for you. And never mind, grenade for me. Uh, just get around the back of you and... Okay, they just they just keep spawning. Okay, choke the spawn point. Somebody choke the flipping spawn point, please. Uh, right, get over there. And that's just a double choke. Lovely. Would anyone else mind, like, you know, I don't know. Bloody hell, they've got so many ice grenades. For a desert especially. Okay, are we done? And can we now have some... There it is. Right, so, uh, gaffy sticks, sand people clothing. So, okay, do I need, do I need more than that? And... Uh, Okay, good. Good, good, good. We're going to have loads of it. Gotcha. So I've got three different bits over there. And uh, hang on. Uh, robot buddy. 
you go and take care of the, um, the mines, if you'd be so kind. So yeah, they've mined up their area. We've also got, yes, Bantha fodder. I swear I've seen that, um, before as well. So, okay, we might at this point have slightly, um, slightly too many bits of sand people clothing. We've gone from none to way too much. Alright, humans, take off all of this, put on some of this instead. I'm guessing robots, however, just sort of can't, right? Yeah, robots just sort of can't, so... Okay, we're back in disguise. Now, the problem is, yeah, we can look like them, but we can't communicate with them. We don't know the language. HK does, but... Are they going to be fine with you? I'm not sure they're going to be fine with you. Well, I've dropped a save in case this all goes wrong. Let's go in and see, you know, how it all turns out. Alright, so we've immediately got a handful of uh, mines. But, right, this isn't like um, a camp or anything. Or rather, there might be one over there. But for the time being, it's just, you know, another deserty area. So, okay, just uh, get up all of these here lovely mines. I've not used a single one yet in combat by myself, but you know, may as well have uh, an infinitely large pile of them, and uh, Bantha. Okay, we literally saw Bantha fodder. Then again, what? don't actually be uh, this guy, because you may as well just uh, activate the speed and be able to move around at speed. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's the Bantha. There is... A stick of some description. So this is just where they live. And that'll be, yes, yeah, someone mentioned like um, a, a fortress and turrets and stuff. So uh, yeah, probably best we just sneak in. All right, and do it, yeah, do it carefully. Maybe like, I don't know, keep your distance and can we just go around the outside? No, you're not allowed to just go around the outside of the wall, even though that would make, you know, a huge amount of sense. And there's mines. I am aware of them. That's fine. Okay, so far, so good. Everyone's in disguise, apart from the robot, who can't be. Should we have weapons out? Or at least, like, distinctive weapons. What weapons do they... Oh, they use gaffy sticks. Okay, can we all equip gaffy sticks? Is that, like, you know, a thing? Here we go, damage 1 to 8, and I've got 10 million of them. Yes, everybody go over to um a gaffy stick, if you'd be so kind. Apart from you, because you can't... Okay, bloody useless, can't put on disguise, can't use a gaffy stick. What's the bloody point of you, HK? Well, translation. We did bring him along so we could translate, so... Okay, now we've got... There we go... That there, that's everything we can do to bloody fit in. Alright, everybody nice and calm so far. Now we got ourselves warrior and... Uh, you're a guard. Okay, now... Uh, are we playing a proximity game here because we need to like... Okay, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what we're doing. I was supposed to be rescuing some people, but like, okay... Yeah, all we need to do is... Maybe keep our distance. Alright, so right round the outside of you. Oh! Okay. Well, he's not attacking me. He's recognised me. He's astounded I'm here. Your disguise may have worked outside. It's not going to work. Okay. So this is why we brought the translator. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Okay, so... No, don't get ready to fight. Alright, I know they've been attacking me and their dicks, but helping them screws over Circa. So, we're gonna help them if we can. We're gonna give them bigger guns so they can screw over Circa even flipping more. So, yes. Before this gets nasty, because this is literally a surprise guard on the front gate, tell him we don't want to fight, we just want to talk. We might want to kill him later, but like not right now. Translation. Oh blimey, that's some that's some good chatter right there. Lovely. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. 
Okay, so... No, don't start with the demands. Because we can't make demands of him anyway. We need to speak to, like, you know, the king or whatever. So, say we're sorry we came. Alright, we want to negotiate. Translation. And here comes more screechy noises. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Okay, so we're going... Oh, somewhere. Okay, so you're wearing darker robes. You must be the chief. So, okay, he doesn't like me. I don't like him either, and... What the flip am I wearing all of a sudden? Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Um, because... Oh! We've... We've taken off the, um... The disguises. Okay, so our plan appears to be we're going to seduce him. That's... That's what's gonna happen, because... What the flip am I wearing? What happened to my nice swimsuit? I had a nice swimsuit a while ago. Now I've got... Whatever this is. And also, why am I wearing, like, full bloody scooper gear? And Bassler in the background's wearing bloody lingerie. Okay, this is... This is just not fair. Um, okay. So, yes. Tell him we want a peaceful solution and... Why are you able to speak to him? Because you don't speak the language, bang! We've been over this. So, yes. Peaceful solution. Ideally one where we get the Jawas back and then you guys, like, you know, just keep hitting Circa. You just keep doing that all day. I don't care. Translation. And here comes some more translating. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? No, we can do that. So, 100 credits is nothing. And then... Okay, let's not get into prisoner exchange or anything. Because he's clearly not in, like, you know, a giving mood right now. He's not going to do anything for us until we do something for him. And that's fine. I'm willing to play ball for the time being. Whatever it takes to screw over Circa. So, find out what he wants and then we'll just do it. Because... I mean, we've got the bloody money, it's fine. Translation. And jab, here we go. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. No, 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 that's, that's the opposite of what I want. Okay, I want to help them screw over Circa more. So, oh, bloody hell. I mean, when you say reduce, that doesn't say, like, eliminate. They're not going to stop. They're just going to be slightly less. And, like, you know, that won't last. They'll be back to attacking later. Because Circa are going to be dicks. And then, oh, it's going to be fine. Okay, and... Stop altogether. No, definitely don't insist on that. We don't want to insist on that in the flipping slightest. We want the attacks to continue. So, okay, we'll get to the captives later. All right, I don't want to push him, given he clearly, like, you know, hates us. So, we'll get the evaporators, not a problem. Translation. Hmm, he does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Okay, so now we're just being walked outside, nice and naked, and... Okay, you're also here now. Right, I'm guessing we speak to you to be allowed back in. And seriously, where the flip did this come from? What happened to my lovely, lovely swimsuits? Like, is this just what Jedi underwear looks like? Because if it does, Bastila, apparently you did not get the memo. Oh, here's interesting. I was just coming back to ask about, you know, the, um, the evaporator things. But apparently I can also ask after Griff. So, okay, maybe he's not, like, you know, in an alley. He's just working for these guys, though. If I had to guess, I'm assuming, yeah, he wasn't, um, a model employee. Like, in the slightest. Griff, uh, 
there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Oh no, 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 no. You want to tell me about Griff, actually. Can you spare me a few moments? I have something I want to get off my chest. I want to tell you about one of our workers. His name was Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yep, that's definitely him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the Sand People wouldn't have gotten him. Oh, okay. So... I'm guessing he might be, like, in prison with the Jowers, got it? He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Okay, normally that would be monstrous, but given what we know about Griff so far, yeah, you know what, fair, that's, uh, that's perfectly reasonable, actually. So, yeah, he's gonna be in prison, isn't he? Ah, yes, and now the business is done with the disguises. Uh, maybe we can turn in I the, uh, the gaffy sticks and, uh, Okay, yeah, she wants the big one, the chieftain's gaffy. But I do have some basic ones, so is there any money for, you know, uh, that? Okay, good. There still is. Marvelous. Okay, so the gaffies get me 300 credits, but... No progress towards the evaporators. Okay, uh, Greeter, you're like the, um, quartermaster or whatever. Any chance you've got some back there? Here we go. I don't look like a moisture farmer, though. What do I want them for? You don't need to know, my friend. Okay, how about I just, you know, give you a giant pile of money and we go our separate ways? And wouldn't have mattered. Okay, let me tell you what I have. Good, 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 good. Two of the finest. Oh, he's going to try and gouge me right now, isn't he? 400 credits for the pair, won't break them up, they function best when linked together. Okay, let's talk about less money, because, to be honest, that's easy dark side points. Yes, here we go, good old Force Persuade, very good way of getting prices down, so... Uh, you, my friend, uh, want to lower the price, don't you? And yes, yes he does. Uh, who cares about regulations? Oh, he's getting fired. So, uh, 200 credits... Okay, any chance we could... You know what? 200's fine. That's cheap as chips. So, uh, that is reasonable. Marvelous. Pleasure doing business with you. Do come again. Okay, now that was nice and easy. I was expecting, you know, him to want something to be done in return for those. But, alright. We can return them. Then we can start talking about... Ooh. Okay, um... Mission. I've got bad news, which is... If it comes to a choice between the Jowers who might be able to help us with the star map and your useless brother, we might have to choose the... Okay, I think Mission better come with us in case we're saying goodbye to Gref. Also, if he does happen to bring it up, we don't know anything about the massacre of the Sand People right by their little kind of, you know, pathway right here. Never heard of it, no idea. And now we've got, like, you know, a tentative alliance going on. Are we cool with the rest of the sand people? Or are they going to be... Also, yeah, you're keeping a lot of mines very close by to your pack animals, but, uh, but whatever. Okay, for now, they seem to be pretty chill. So just straight through. No trouble. Let's just see what we got here. Yes, evaporators and a translator and all the rest of it. So, uh, let's me and you uh, be friends. Alright, we're going to be friends because that means uh, you don't all die. And that means you can keep attacking Circa. Sadly, not as much. I was hoping for more, actually. In fact, if that's an option, I'm saying it. But, uh, we'll flip and see, shall we? And, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, he's disgusted by your presence. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'll be gone as soon as I can. I'm just trying to screw over Circa. Okay, stick to business here. We've got the moisture converters. Is that the same as evaporating? Because if we've brought the wrong thing, that's going to be embarrassing. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Okay, so the chieftain is... Uh, 
Yeah, surprised I'm back. He wasn't really expecting us to come through. But that's good. That's a good starting point. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Yep, yeah, hand them straight over with no conditions. Alright, because we are not making threats and I don't want the attacks to stop, so that's fine. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation, the attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Okay, um, I'm guessing, you know, that also involves breaking prisoners out of prison, so... Okay, can we ask about that now? Because we're not precisely on good terms, but we're not immediately talking about... Okay, we are talking about shooting each other. But, like, not as immediately as before, perhaps. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Okay, so... Information on the culture, the star map... Okay, let's talk about captives, uh, see if he's willing to at least, you know, uh, discuss maybe a trade for their release. We're not going to demand anything, but we could come up with, you know, a trade. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Okay, so, uh, yeah, step one, the Jowers. Translation. Here we go. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Okay, that's a good start. He's just willing to give them up. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, let's talk about Griff. Because, yeah, Mission, apparently your brother's here. Um, having been basically a bastard to everybody. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this Griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Okay, so that there, that's pretty good. We've got what we want there, so... Back to other questions, then again. The implication was, don't ask too many questions, otherwise things might get, you know, stabby. But hopefully we will get a final warning before that. Protocol. We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. Okay. Let's show an interest in his culture, if we can. Don't worry about the star map, that's fine. I'm guessing the Jowers will help me with that regardless. So, don't exhaust all the questions, that might be a problem. So, let's try this. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Okay. So, history. Why are they so hostile? Well, we kind of know that already. So, let's dig into what's going on here. Because, yeah, we want the history. Because we know planet used to be green. Now planet is sand. So, like, something happened in the middle presumably involving, um, the builders. So, let's start with that. Translation. And I'm guessing he's not going to be thrilled. Translation. He says that he will not master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may recite the histories. Okay. So, can we meet said storyteller? Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Okay, that sounds promising. How can I prove myself a great warrior? Because I'm pretty good with the old, you know, pew pew bang sticks. Translation. He doesn't know, Master. His people usually kill outsiders, since you are an outsider yourself. That would not suffice. Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest predator on Tatooine. Fight one of those, and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. 
Okay, so that there, we've got a thing we can do. Because, yeah, people have been mentioning the dragons previously. I was guessing we were going in that direction because... Uh, we kind of need to kill a dragon to get, like, you know, the holocron for Bastler's mother regardless. So, then again, I mean, you know, that sounds a fair whack like a boss to me. So, logically, find the crate dragon, that's going to be where the star map is. Just kind of, you know, vaguely metagaming a bit there. So, okay. If he gives us that bit of information, we might have the answer to the star map too. Translation. There is a dragon in the far eastern Doom Sea, but he claims you could never defeat it. Here is a map to the area. Translation. There is a hunt, a twilight, that is sometimes seen out there. Perhaps he would be of some help. Okay. Now we have got ourselves, a, yeah, a destination and a map with no trouble whatsoever. So uh, he's kind of accidentally given us, presumably, the key to the star map. So uh, marvellous. I'll take being mocked if it gets me a key to a star map. Though, uh, yes, Dragon Pearl. He showed up in um in that TV show that's been on TV recently about um, a Mandalorian. I forget what it was called, but you know the one I mean. Uh, yeah, there was like a Dragon Pearl in that too, but it was a bit vague what that was uh, in that as well. Translation. Stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently they are valuable items. Okay, fair enough. I think we know what we need now. And let's not ask any more questions because we've been specifically warned. Uh, ask too many questions, they will shoot you. So I feel like we've got everything we need here. Okay, so items received and lost together with 400 XP. Okay, now don't go causing trouble. Alright, where the flip am I right now? So, maybe also don't, like, break open their stuff. Do not rob them. We've been, you know, very clearly told, hey, you know what? These people are sensitive. They sort of hate you. Don't mess with them. Though we do need to have a bit of a loopsy roundy. That looks like a Jawa's rope to me. Are you guys cool with me, by the way? That's a warrior, not a guard. You're a warrior too. Okay, now we were told uh, we can take them. It's not a problem. So, hello there, little Jawa friend. And uh, you're not the ghostly giants that hold us trapped, the people of Sand. Uh, you are from the old city. No. Aziz must have sent you coming. Are you a rescuer? You must be. Yes, yes I am. And uh, they've said you can go. Why they just, you know, keep you under the circumstances, I don't know. Because presumably, like, they need to feed you. And give you water. And in general that's, you know, a bad thing. So, if they don't want you, why not just release you or kill you? Maybe they were just going to leave you in here and let you, like, you know, die of uh, dehydration or something. That'd be unpleasant. So, no, none of that for you, my friends. Off to Ankhead you go. Apparently you just have to, like, you know, leave. Which is nice. And yes, indeed, there are thanks you must have. The Jowers under Aziz will reward in trade. Yes, though he was a bit vague, like, what the reward was going to be. Okay, so there's some XP for that. And number two. Okay, Griff. Mission, this one's up to you. I'm going to leave his fate entirely in Mission's hands. Uh, you there. I'm, uh, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. And uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Uh, well, uh, there's the truth and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus's just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough looking friend there. Okay, so, yeah, you can just, um, go, to be honest, because they say you can go because you are literally the most useless person they've ever encountered. So, uh, back you go. I'm guessing we'll be, you know, catching up with you in the city. 
Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Uh, financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should've just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I feel you might have uh, broken poor little Mission's heart there. Still, at least she's uh, she's seen the truth of it. She wasn't, you know, uh, as resistant as I thought she might be uh, to the truth. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure she's coming round, Griff. I think you might have... Uh, Burn that bridge. Uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Oh, no. Not a chance. He is definitely never paying me back. He's just... He's an utter bastard. Nope, you're getting nothing. <sighs> I uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zerka Supply Shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Krita's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. Oh, he's such a bastard, and... Uh... Okay, whatever he wants to do next, do not get involved. Okay, just don't get involved. And if you guys want to stab him on the way out, that's fine. No problem with that whatsoever. Also, I do technically have, you know, Chief's Gaffy, so... Okay, you'll be paying good money for that, won't you? I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. Okay, but no, 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 even more of a bonus, actually. And I wouldn't want you to leave without this additional reward. Yes, of course I wouldn't. Once again, Zerka Corporation thanks you. Okay, so that is uh, 700 credits. That's not bad, and a giant pile of XP as well. Flippin' love it, marvellous. So, okay, Griff. I'm guessing that, you know, you've got some other scam in mind at this point. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you're still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. Okay, get to the point. I'm not being friendly about this. As you may know... Attack glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. Okay, where does this, you know, involve me precisely? I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. Good, I will very happily laugh, but I'm kind of curious where this is, uh, where this is gonna go. I don't know whether I might actually already have those, by the way. I think I might have, uh, that vaguely rings a bell. I think I might have, like, you know, a couple of them already. Oh, and I've leveled up too. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, right, Griff, let's me and you have a chat, because uh, do I actually have the stuff? Yes, I've already got some stuff, but I want paying. Okay, I know I already had it, but I expect money for goods. Sorry, like I said before, I don't have any credits on me, and Greta won't lend me any. It's like he doesn't trust me to pay him back or something. But you come through on this, and I promise you'll get a huge payday down the road. Two... No, 
3,000 credits. How's that sound? Unfortunately, I can't negotiate for more. But as I've already got the gland, uh, here you go, buddy. I'm not expecting any payday out of this, though. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I, I turn over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Teresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Teresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. Okay, so now you're offering me another 4,000 credits, no. No, 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 no. This guy's a grifter. Uh, he's... Oh, that's why it's called Griff. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Story checks out. Uh, yes, he's... He's not gonna be good for it, so... Uh, no, uh, not at all. You, my friend, are a scumbag. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? No, 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 and bloody hell... The glands won't be the only freshly harvested organ around here if you don't shut up. Well, that's just marvellous. Whoa, no need to get violent. I can take a hint. I was just trying to do you a favor, but I see you're not interested. It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later, and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you. Oh, I don't think we're ever seeing him again. Then again, actually, there might be some final bit of the story with, uh, with Mission for the time being. So, okay. Uh, let's just try stepping out and back in again, see if he's back. We might have to come back, uh, later, once we're done with the, uh, the main story, though. Oh, never mind, back inside. Griff gave me a message. I don't like the sound of this. He told me to tell you he made a mistake brewing the Teresian Ale. Didn't work out right for some reason. And, yep, not too surprised, actually. And on top of that, the tack gland was ruined. He said he wasn't going to stick around and have to face the exchange contact. I could have given him more. I'm pretty sure I had several. But, I mean, okay. Do we have to follow him again? Or is he actually, you know, done at this point? Because, where's he off to next? Manan, Koraban, tell me what's up. And, uh, hopped aboard the last shuttle. Don't know where he was headed, uh, but I can't say I'm sorry he's gone. He was the worst employee I ever had. He was always on a break. He mixed up orders. I think he might have been stealing from me. Yeah, he was just an all-round bastard, wasn't he? And, uh, good riddance. He owes me credits. Well, kind of. I didn't give him any money, but he promised me a bit of a payday, so... Uh, you know what? Let's hunt him down. Me and you, Mission, will gun him down for being a bastard. And uh, people like Griff, they know to disappear when they get in too deep. You won't hear from him again at any time soon. Damn it, Griff. Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? And there was one last thing. He said to tell his sister goodbye and to tell her he's sorry. Well, that doesn't count for much, does it, really? And, uh, okay, Mission... Are you cool about this? Because I'm guessing not 100%. I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. Okay, good. So she's not mad at me for refusing to give him money because by the end she fully acknowledged what a bastard he was. So... He's a slime ball. I invested a lot. Still looking to get some payback. Don't give up on him. No, give up on him. Sometimes people show you a pattern of behavior and you need to learn from that and acknowledge it. Some people don't get redemption arcs. Some people are just dicks. So accept it, Mission. He's a slime ball. Move on with your life. Don't worry. I see all Griff's faults plainly now. None of us is perfect, but... I realize he's a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. So yeah, that's that's a very mature mission. I'm uh, I'm liking this character. When we first met her, she was definitely a bit of a child, but she's grown up while she's been with us. That's 
That's really lovely. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, flipping job done apparently. And no pop-up, so... Uh, I don't know whether she's like just got better or anything. Like, you know, we've done her loyalty mission or whatever, so... Uh, I don't know if there was like, you know, a point to that. Like, I haven't been told I've got any XP or anything, so... Well, she's not in my quest journal anymore, so I guess that's sort of uh, done. Hang on, move over to uh, completed quests. Yep, that's officially marked as uh, done. So I guess that just doesn't generate any XP for whatever reason. Still, I got plenty of XP for, uh, you know, resolving the situation somewhat peacefully. And Circa are still going to be attacked. So, okay, pretty much a win-win as far as I'm concerned. And better and better. Oh, I'm getting seriously dark now. Lovely. Okay, so I'm up to, uh, what's that, level 16 into 17, I assume. Yep, level 17. So, uh, okay. 118 health. We get ourselves skills and powers. It's not that much health, is it? No. Uh, no, it is not. But, let's start repair moving in the right direction. Because, honestly, I've not really been using Persuade at all, because I'm just using Jedi Mind Dominate anyway, so maybe that was kind of a bit of a waste, because, uh, then again, does that make Jedi Mind Trick more successful, or is Jedi Mind Trick guaranteed to pass? That I don't know, but um, yeah, let's get repair up a little bit, see if at the bare minimum we can do a tiny bit of repairing of good old HK before we're done. Okay, let's start thinking very carefully about what powers I want, because, yeah, it feels like we're coming up on the end of Tatooine, then there's only one more planet, so uh, we're starting to get to the stage where levelling up is slowing down. I don't know how many more levels we've got, and there might be a level cap, so I need to be a little bit careful with what I'm selecting here. Because, yeah, what I can do right now is I can go super fast, which is brilliant for, you know, gunning a lot. I've got myself my plague ability. So, that basically can't be blocked unless, presumably, you've got... Hang on, there's... A, yes, force resistance and force immunity. So, if you've got that, at that point, presumably, a Jedi opponent would be able to maybe stop me using all my special powers, right? And she doesn't count as a full block or anything. It's... Okay, the attacker makes an opposed roll using d20 plus level. So, for me, that's going to be, yeah, the d20 is going to come out on average about 10, plus my level, uh, 17, so about 27 on average. However, that's versus a difficulty check of 15, plus opposing characters level. So, uh, say a character is also level 17, that's going to come out at more like 32. So, most of the time, my abilities might just not work. In which case, at some point, I might want to look into, uh, yes, Force Suppression and Force Breach. So at that point, here we go, Force Resistance, Force Immunity, also cancels the enemy trying to use any of their bonusy abilities, uh, like, you know, Shield, Armor, Valor, Burst of Speed, all the rest of it. Because that makes them very powerful, so in the long run, against tough Jedi opponents, and we know Darth Brandon's probably showing up sooner or later... And Malik eventually too. Uh, that might be worth investing into. Okay. So uh, that might be a good idea. Just to make sure I can get off my abilities. Because uh, until I've got a force breach on them. I can't say for certain. Uh, plague's going to work. Choke's going to work. Any of it's going to work. But let's also talk about. Yeah. Force storm. I can't use that just yet. But the big step up there is. Uh, force lightning appears to just do. Uh, Damage, and quite a bit of damage too, but Force Storm also does damage to uh, Force Points. So, uh, at that point, I can start draining somebody else's Force before they start attacking me. Not a bad call. And then, uh, then there's Choke. Okay, so if I've understood this correctly, then Kill does a lot more damage, like absolutely tons of damage. And it does still make them choke for 6 seconds, but you lose one of the benefits of choke, which is, yeah, this minus four to constitution, dexterity, and strength that lasts for 24 seconds. That doesn't happen with kill. You still get six seconds where everything's going to be a sneak attack crit, but 18 seconds after that point, 
you don't gain the benefit of your opponent having reduced everything. So, uh, you still have the six seconds, uh, which is crucial. And on top of that, yeah, wisdom and charisma modifiers versus uh, save. And even if it fails, I still manage to do a fair whack of damage. I'm going to take kill because they still choke for the six seconds. Uh, I'm willing to give up. A little bit of, you know, dexterity for 18 seconds after the 6 seconds because I have been struggling a little bit with doing, like, you know, big damage to slightly more chunky enemies. Like, taking on some of the sand people, some of them were, like, getting on top of me and doing bad damage to me. And the choke was... Uh, but then again, the big damage is... Oh, I don't know! Screw it, I'm going for it. We're taking that up to its maximum level. So, at this point, yes. What do I still need to, to take? In the grand scheme of things. I might want to take, uh, yeah, Force Suppression and Breach. I might want to get Force Storm up to maximum to screw over the ability of my Jedi opponent to use their abilities. I might want to use uh, Drain Life to, you know, steal some health. We'll have to have a think about all of that. Okay, with missions, you know, mission done, time to go back over to Bastila and HK, because Bastila is pretty darn solid. But I have been having a bit of, you know, a think about Bastila. See, Bastila's really damn good at two-weapon fighting, so she'd be good with either a double-bladed lightsaber or two lightsabers. Now, I was saying double-bladed was good when we first got it because I didn't have very many crystals. Well, now I've got 10 million bloody crystals, so if we give her two weapons rather than one, that's more crystal slots. If I've got enough crystals to make this work, then potentially, I might be able to increase the chance of her stunning an enemy. So we've already got one lightsaber, currently actually in Jahani's possession, that has got, you know, a stun on it. And I've got another Bondar crystal, and I can put that on a short lightsaber. So that is another chance of stun, because we just want the damn stuns. And as a short lightsaber isn't doing the damage anyway, best thing we could do would be, yes, chance to hit being boosted. Let's get that moving in the right direction. That'd be marvellous. I mean, then again, that Sigil Crystal is pretty darn good. Adding just an extra 1d6 on, that's that's a lot of damage. And here we go. Bastler has now got a short lightsaber with a chance to stun on it, and a lightsaber with another chance to stun on it. Now that, that's the business. And just pop open those lightsabers, and oh yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing, you are going to be stunning people all the time. Activate Flurry, just start whacking them. Stun, 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 and more flipping stun. And last thing today, even though I've already got uh, the map I need, yes, Aziz, who I'm guessing might also give me a map, so if I've already got one, yes, my friend, you were a bit uh, vague on my rewards. So I have things to give you, take and be welcome. Okay, um... That's, that's fine. Any chance you can just confirm star map behind dragon? And uh, you have saved the tribe. We of Jawa are willing to trade uh, in the sands to the east. Yes, the people of San find the strange thing of the people before. Okay. Or did you have a map? Yes, I do. Marvelous and Lair of Dragon. Yep, as I suspected. Seriously, it would be so nice if they did say what the items were because I just don't know what you just gave me. I mean, there's a bunch of crystals being marked in purple. Was it the crystals? It could have been these crystals. I don't know. No, I've been through my entire inventory. I cannot be bloody sure. That's uh, it's the biggest single problem with the UI. You get given items, but the game doesn't say what they um, what they are. So hope it wasn't anything important. And that means, as far as I can see, we've only got one thing left to do, and that is uh, no small thing, to be honest. We're going into the Eastern Dune Sea and killing a bloody dragon. So, I mean, okay. I'm sure that's all absolutely fine. I've got two guns. So does my robot friend who seems pretty badass. And uh, now Bastard's got two lightsabers. So that is logically twice as good as one. That would be just fine for, uh, for murdering a dragon. So, uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would say uh, that is enough for now. Next time, yeah, we're going to go and... Uh, fight a dragon though someone did mention like someone else might be out there hunting a dragon too so okay it might be a pretty big deal if there's bloody reinforcements we might be able to uh draft in to assist so uh, we'll see how that goes next time hopefully you are looking forward to that but in the meantime 
I've been John Spenmenia True Nerd, and this has been Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.